What's up everybody? How you doing today? I am Lulz Pie, and today we are continuing our Call of Duty and 2021 series and we are talking about Black Ops 3 today. Uh, so Black Ops 3 is seems to be a, a cult favorite among many people. There's still a lot of people playing it here on the PS4. Uh, I do not have the PS3 version unfortunately. That's something I am trying to get but I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it because it is god awful. I mean, it's bad. It's terrible. I, I feel bad for anybody who has that game and not like, you know, the newer one. Um, <laughs> that being said, here we go. We are starting with the issue that they do not actually give player count numbers. We have percentages here. So instead of, you know, telling us, hey, there's 2000 people online, it says, hey, X percent of the online players are in this playlist, which uh, I guess is better than nothing like some of the newer games like World War Two. So, 67% of online players were in Core Team Deathmatch, 8% were in Search and Destroy, 5% were in Domination, and 8% were in Hardcore Team Deathmatch. I found it's easy enough to find Team Deathmatch. That's going to be pretty much any Call of Duty you go into. I've said it before. I did not try Search and Destroy because I, I just don't like Search. Uh, it would have been me going in there, getting killed, and leaving. Like It wouldn't have been fun for anybody. Domination, I found a match. I found a couple couple lobbies, I'm pretty sure. Uh, very campy, not really objective playing, just people camping and trying to get kills. Um, I found a couple of different matches, a hardcore de uh, team death match because I kind of got booted from the first one for uh, team killing. I, <laughs> I got my grenade launcher and kind of, you know, demolished my entire team because um, I not, did not know that the uh, spawn flipped, so I kind of killed everybody and got booted, but immediately found another match, so that's good. So, let's talk about the players. This has got to be the sweatiest and most toxic Call of Duty I've touched in this series yet, and I don't mean like, you know, you know, haha, you suck, ha, you know, you're a bitch kind of, you know, toxicity here. I'm talking about like straight up toxic like bad toxic and super sweaty like you know we got you know level 1000s and master prestiges high rank people everywhere these people have been playing since this game came out and they haven't touched a single game since all right if you want a challenge black ops 3 is where to go i for one i'm not a fan of black ops 3 and i know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that i don't i don't do the advanced movement and the wall running and boost jumping and all that stuff i have trouble tracking people when they're bouncing all around the map all right, you'll see that a lot in uh, gameplay footage if you go back and watch my stream and everything. You'll hear me bitching about trying to, you know, fight people who are jumping around and wall running and everything. Um, so, let's talk about modders. Yes, that is an issue. Granted, um, it is a small issue. I only found one. And I had heard rumors up until this point about people modding. Uh, apparently, I'm not going to go into details because I don't know for sure, but apparently there is a way that you can download something to a USB stick and you know stick it in your PS4 and then you can you know mod like that. I found someone who was who was invisible. And going into other lobbies, I've heard other people talking about on the mics about you know seeing invisible I guess not seeing invisible people. So that seems to be an issue. Which kind of sucks because that means that modders are really starting to get into you know the PS4 era of, of Call of Duties and that really sucks. That really sucks. And that being said, Hardcore Team Deathmatch was pretty much just campers. The one match I played, half of their half of the enemy team just laid down in grass in the back of their spawn and waited for somebody to run by and shot their ankles. Pretty much, that's what the entire match was. was me spawning, running all the way across the map, and dying. It's spawning, running across the map, and dying. That's, that's what it was. It was boring as hell, not fun. So now we're going to talk about zombies. Uh, I am not a fan of Black Ops 3 zombies. Uh, this is where it started getting way too crazy for me, like super Easter egg heavy, like going in. I couldn't even remember how to get the, the perks and everything. I know you got to become that monster or whatever and, you know, go grapple hook up. I don't freaking know, man. I don't care. But 34% of zombies players were in Shadows of Evil. 10% were in the Giant. 9% were in Dur Eisendrock. Did I say that right? Probably not. And 21%, surprisingly, were in Kino Dur Toten. If you're going to play Kino, just get on Black Ops 1, okay? <laughs> Please. Uh, all the other maps were below 5%. I'm not going to sit here and list all of them because there's a lot of zombies maps in this game. God. 
Treyarch went kind of ham. There was, I don't have it in front of me, but there was at least 10. It's nuts. <sighs> so there you have it. An overview of Black Ops 3 on the PS4 in the year 2021. Super tryhard, super sweaty, uh, toxic. Just, this game, I just, I just don't like this game in general. Man, I've never liked Black Ops 3. It is so cringy. Oh my god. Like, even the, the outfits aside, because I can deal with the stupid outfits. The thing that gets me the most <laughs> is the freaking winner circle at the end. Some of the quotes and oh, the dancing. Full metal everything. Oh my god, it's worse than Fortnite! Oh, <laughs> oh but yeah, it is, uh, you know, it's still heavily populated. It's a, it's a favorite among many, many people, and a lot of people will probably stick with this Call of Duty for years and years to come. So if you want to hop on and, you know, run on some walls and jump over people's heads, then hop on here and get to it, huh? Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, coming up should be Modern Warfare Remastered, World War II, and Black Ops 4. And then whenever my new games come in the mail, I got Ghosts coming, Call of Duty 3, and Call of Duty 4. Those are on the way, so those should be here by the end of the month. I'll have videos on those. So if you enjoy Call of Duty, I stream every week, Tuesday through Saturday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. So come out, come join the fun. Um, you know, we have lots of fun, guys. You know, I, I, I yell at my microphone a lot because I suck. <laughs> Thanks for coming out again. I will hopefully see you all next time.